So I have to talk about the um, five wise virgins and five unwise virgins. Just like during the Lord Yeshua HaMashiach's time, Jesus Christ's time, um, the unwise virgins of Israel, um, of Judah, persecuted the wise virgin, the Lord Yeshua, and his teaching that was from the word of God. Um, it matched the word of God perfectly. Today, we have the same thing going on, and he called them vipers, snakes, serpents. Today, the same thing is going on, and the Lord Yeshua has shown me that whenever he took... So, whenever you see in the Bible and Revelation, it talks about seven spirits before his throne, um, and it talks about the voice like a roar of many waters... The voice of the roar of many waters are his five wise virgins, his 144,000. Um, they may have some bloodline of or, or DNA of Israel, and they've hearkened unto the voice of the Lord. They had the oil in their lamps, with the, which is Yeshua HaMashiach, the Messiah, faith in him, and they have faith in the Father that he is the Son of the living God. And so... These are the ones who have the oil ready when Lord Yeshua, with the fire in his eyes, comes and he lights those lamps. The lampstands are the churches, as it says in the Word of God. Church in Aramaic, Hebrew, means called out ones. It's not a denomination. These are people who are called out of the darkness, the ways of Babylon, even Babylon's church, the great prostitute, and the daughter of that harlot. These are the people that are before the throne of Yah, and they hearken unto the voice of Yah. They were refined in the, in the furnace, and they have the fire of the word of God, the sword, that, the two-edged sword that, that's sharp and discerns the hearts of men and women. And they walk with the Lamb because he's among, he's among them. This is the people on YouTube, and do, they're singing a new song, a different song. The song of the truth, the song of Moses, when Moses discovered that that Israel was in captivity, their discovery they've discovered that the people were in captivity, and that they were doing works based faith, and they were doing things that were not going along with the word and the way that the Lord Yeshua taught. Because it doesn't take anything but faith. Abraham was saved by faith, and he sought righteousness. He wasn't righteous in all of his ways. Um, some of them were. Noah was righteous in all of his ways. Um, some of the, the people of God weren't righteous in all of their ways. But he forgave them, and he anointed them with a, with a job. So, And he, these are the elect, the chosen before they were born. And the gifts were given without repentance, turning to the Lord Yeshua HaMashiach, who is the glory of God in the flesh. The man who came, had no sin, came off of his throne from heaven, came down here, lived a righteous, pure life, died for our sins, and nothing but the blood of him saves us. Um, he is our Redeemer, turning us back to the Father and the love of our first love, the Father of him. Um, which is him, because he says, I am in him, the Father, and the Father is in me. So they are the ones that are singing a new song. We're revealing the truth, and we're help. Well, Jesus is the one, Yeshua is the one that redeems them out of Egypt with the strength of a unicorn horn. The horn represents the horn of God, the horn of Yah. Now, this horn is revealing the word of God and who the players are, who the people are. That's how Yeshua knew who he was during his time, that he was the Lamb of God. That's how we know that this is the time we know what's going on because we've been in the word of God for some time. Some of us have been in the word of God. Some of us are waking up to the word, and um, it's it's amazing it's the Holy Spirit. This Holy Spirit is the Word. And these people, these people are um, speaking, but it's fire sometimes coming out of their mouth to the enemy of Yah and to the inhabitants of earth. 
Some Christians even feel that fire because they're the unwise virgins without the oil. And Jesus said, buy, um, go and buy. So they, they need to go and buy the, buy the oil. They need to get the fire. Um, anyways, so um, last night, one of the things that he revealed to me is, is something that I've been done in previous videos, but it all kind of culminates into one that the ones that Jesus is talking about, Yeshua is talking about the woman, the harlot, Babylon, the mother of all prostitutes that de does in the uh, obscenities of, in the world, drunk with the, with the blood of the holy people, um, um, who were the witnesses for Jesus, the holy people of God. These are the prophets, the, um, the anointed people of God, the ones that had the horn of God. This is Babylon, the great, the, the mother of all harlots. It's a great city over the all earth and the kings of the, of the world with her. And the Lord Yeshua has shown me what, who these, these people are. Okay, so they're Jesuits. And what are Jesuits? Jesuits are Muslim. They're Islam. They're not, this man is not, this, this man, you're not supposed to call anyone father, okay? This man is not our father, but he's the one that commits fornication with all the kings of the earth, okay? All of them, the ones that they're using the tell a lie vision to make you believe a lie. This is the new song that the Lord is singing. The new song is the spirit of truth has come into the world, into the people, opened our eyes, the people of Yah. Uh, Yeshua, his true bride, the ones that are had the oil in their lamps, um, and he's revealing the the end times, who the players are, who the vipers, who the serpents are. Now these people are all Jesuits, Masons, which means they're Islamic. Masons, Jesuits, fraternities, they're all Islamic, and she is the wound. The Vatican is the wound that was a, of a sword which is the word of God. The word of God broke people up. They left, and then the Vatican murdered the people who left. And it was healed. The Protestants have come back and rejoined with the harlot. Islam harlot Rome's, is Rome's daughter. Islam is the, har is, is the harlot, is Rome's daughter. It's part of Rome. Freemasons are Islamic, and you see it on their fez hat. Their fez hat is, shows and proves that they are Muslim. If you read the information behind them, I've done something on this before. But, pope, the, but the Pope of uh, Muhammad's time sent a woman that was Catholic to marry him and beha became his bride. And they had a child named Fatima. They um, gave him the words of the book to, that taught Islam to murder Christians and um, God's holy people, the anointed Israel, the Jews. And but not everybody who says they are Jew are Jew. Let's, let's make that pretty, pretty clear. So the false prophet, the beast, and the dragon are really one. It's one group of Jesuits and Masons. They're the goats and the tares. They're atheist Masons. They're, they're the, the builders who reject the cornerstone, Jesus. God's temple is Jesus. Um, and Rome secretly created Mormonism also, like Islam, and um, which is a mystic, they're mystic schools. They teach Egypt, Babylon, and Romanism. These are the Shriners, Jesuits, and Masons. And they have unclean spirits. They're, they're fornicators. They harm little children with pedophilia. And they had the um, the t-shirt in the... the, um, the gathering of the kings of the earth together to get her which pope's words to get her means together means to get her to get god's people they're coming after god's people and those who we think are our friends are not really our friends okay those who we think are christian are not really christian okay so we need to be very careful because that's the tares amongst the wheat um, it's a Jesuit dark army of Rome and Islam. They're Islamic. And they all have the same God, which is a female 
Um, their Jesus is not our Jesus. It's Horus of Egypt. Their Jesus is the whore of Babylon. Islamic Freemasons work for the Jesuits, who are also Islamic. They kiss when they're in their secret places and hidden places. They kiss the Quran. When they come out and they do their sermons, they have a way they've learned from cemetery school, seminary, how to fool the people to think that they're really Christian when they're not. Rome um, forced conversions. Islam forced conversions. Rome killed people if you didn't convert to Catholicism. Islam forced conversions, and both of them kill with a sword. And on the fez hats of these Shriners, which are Trump is a Shriner, Jesuit is a, a, Obama was a Jesuit, what they do is they have a sword, a crescent moon, and a pharaoh. Obama's the pharaoh, like I've pointed out before. You know, they're acting out the Bible, and Trump and Putin are really on the same team. They all give the Jesuit handshake. Okay, you need to know these things. These people teach a, another way, another way. Remember that. Not faith in the Lord Jesus, but another way. Um, so also Rome, Catholicism, Catholicism has Mary idolatry. Islam has Mary idolatry. Mormonism has a Mary idolatry. And all the Freemasons, Jesuits, and Shriners worship a, um, a false um, Mary. This is Babylon. They all have rosary beads. Islam has beads and Catholicism has rosary beads. This is Babylon. It's all Babylon. And these are the ones that Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lord Jesus Christ, is revealing to us. And since Pope, the uh, Pope of Muhammad's time created Muslims in order to kill God's holy people. Because if they killed, then people would know who they were, that they were the dragon. And so the Lord has been showing me the judgment is on these people. The judgment is on those people who murder God's people. And he, he brings judgment because his judgment is righteous. Okay, He throws the millstone, the great millstone, to destroy and righteously, um, righteously judge them. And Babylon will be fallen in one hour, in one hour, because the whole earth is drunk with with um, the blood of the harlot. I mean, the, um, the mother of all harlots. How do we know this? Let's give one example. America, the Jesuit army came in, pretended to be Christians, and set up their their um, churches. They killed the Indians, destroyed the stole the land, and then destroyed the land. The Satan is a, a, a murderer. He's a thief. He kills, steals, and destroys. And then sets himself up as God. The, the people who stand up on the altars set themselves up as the shepherds of the sheep. But they don't care about the sheep. Only the good shepherd does. That's why you have to remain in the word. He says, remain in me and I will remain in you. Um, and she speaks like a lion, the false, the false one. They speak like a lion. They use the word of God. They're drunk in the wine of their of her immoralities. And um, I have another thing I'm going to be reading to you in a little bit. Um, but the spirit of God is is a roar of many waters. It's a roar. It's a, a lion's roar. Because Jesus comes with fire in his eyes, and he's blowing his trumpets, he's blowing his horns, he's speaking, the mouth of God is speaking, the word of God has come in. If you're a body of Christ, you have different members, arms, legs, you know, a head, Jesus is our, is our head, but you have a roar of many waters. These are the people, because the sea is people. We are waters that have the living waters of the Lord in us. And we are speaking loud re revelation. The spirit of truth is with us. And so don't, it's not going to sound the same because it's different. They sing a new song. So repent and receive the Messiah as your Lord and Savior. Time is up and we all need to get ready for him.